time since I've been here for a review. Well, I'm actually reviewing my new natural hair unit I got from Fingercomber.com. This is a honey unit. It's in a 1B, kind of a dark brown, natural brown. Um, the length is probably about maybe 12 inches. So I'm 5'9", and it hits me honestly right at the base of my neck. I feel like a bag of money like it's so cute and I have my edges slicked down with just some edge control but basically I put together a little lookbook or as you can say a variation of photos in order to show the different types of hairstyles so I'll either have that at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video not sure yet but I will have it on there so that y'all can see I got this unit about six months ago and when I initially opened the package, I just thought it was so flawless and natural looking, but I knew it was synthetic, so I wasn't sure how long it was going to last. It has been six months and this unit <laughs> is still on point. It's full, it stays in place, and it's amazing and people think it's really my natural hair. And it's a wig! Ah! <laughs> so it's awesome and I like it because it allows my hair to breathe in my edges because Jesus I am not trying to have to regrow my edges so it's allowing my edges to have some breathing room too in between the different leaves and extensions that I might get one of the things about it that I would say would be something that you need to kind of take in mind is the fact that it only has two combs one in the front one in the back the it's kind of hard to do a whole like hair up style just because it's not going to be very easy to blend if you don't have a lot of hair in the back because it's a little hard to blend it in the front the issue with the front is when you push it back there's a big hump so like if you can see there's like a hump right here that's really the only thing i could say about the hair is that there's only two combs it'd be better if they had at least a comb right here and a comb right here because I have to bobby pin it down but other than that for $88 it's amazing it's an $88 synthetic wig that has lasted for six months what so hair care tips how do I keep my unit looking fresh and brand new I actually use a steamer let me calm down y'all I'm just excited you know how I get when I get some new hair uh, so I use a steamer and I steam it lightly I take the wig and place it inside out and then you know the part that Bobin Yay leave the steamer alone sorry my dog is like messing with the steamer you know the part of your hair whenever you like the nap the part that always kind of gets a little more kinky than normal when you have a synthetic would be the back part. So I like to flip the wig inside out and I lightly steam. I do a continuous movement because it is synthetic fibers. So I, I want to make sure I don't singe it. I also soak it in fabric softener because I want it to stay soft and fresh and have a nice smell. So I soak it in fabric softener for probably about an hour and then I take it out rinse it out really well with cold water and just let it air dry and then I just use the steamer so that's it I'll put a video up probably later on showing my steaming and my fabric softener method with my synthetic wigs but just for this case I want to make sure I let y'all know that this wig is amazing and look at look at that like look how natural it looks it's been six months I've had this unit for six months look at this like this it's crazy like it's an awesome wig so if you're looking at getting a synthetic wig that is easy to use that it's easy to style it's light it has it's very breathable the cap is so <sighs> this wig is amazing okay and I love it because it's just so versatile so if you're looking for something that is going to be convenient and easy this is the way to go but put it on a wig mannequin head do not just let it just lay anywhere this wig needs to be hanging because if you just let it lay any kind of way it will kink up and get matted so do not just lay it down any kind of way all right 
So if y'all have any questions or you want to know some more about how I styled it and what I used, just put your questions down below. And thank you for watching my video. Bye.